Hey there, it's Jenna Sword from YouCanBrand.com. I am so excited to show you this organizational hack today. I have discovered a resource that has allowed me to create the to-do list of my dreams. And I think that when I go through the process of how I set this all up, it's gonna provide a lot of inspiration on how you're gonna be able to do the same very easily, and it's free, yay! So what it's called is Google Keep. Now, I had never even heard of Google Keep before, but I can tell you this, I have tried a lot of different project management systems and to-do lists, and none of them have inspired me the way that this resource has. So I'll tell you why. Uh, the reason is that I love this idea of having all my to-do lists in one place for every project that I'm working on, whether it's personal, whether it's professional, uh, I have daily mantras that I like to read that I was reading off notebook paper that was getting stained with coffee and I was losing them. Um, and so I just like this idea of having everything in one place. You know, I have purchased a lot of info products and courses. I'm sure you may have too. And, you know, to have to remember what the logins are and uh, where to put all the homework. If you're not posting every single assignment that you're doing in a course and you want a place to keep things organized, this is going to be your solution. So in this lesson today, we're gonna cover how to set up a to-do list, how to add an image, how to move things around, add and delete things, and kind of the organizational flow that I've set up here. So a couple of different things just to talk about the setup for a quick second. I think that it's really important, and I don't know if you've encountered this before, but I was encountering it all the time, that I would want to have certain things to happen every day, but I would I would forget to do them. So I would try to go into my Google calendars and set up reminders, but then my phone was just beeping all the time, and that wasn't really allowing me to have a, a good process and system. So one of the things that I thought would be fun is what if I just had one to-do, which was to look at the to-do list in the morning for the morning review. And this morning review would have all of the things that I would really want to do for the day. So I wanted to make sure I get in 30 minutes of reading. I want to make sure that I doodle for fun for at least like, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. I wanted to try to, you know, make sure I eat paleo as much as I can, how many bottles of water I want to drink, you know, all the things that I want to do on a regular basis that I may forget unless I'm looking at a list. And I also want the add a girl of checking off the list and feeling like I accomplished something. So what I love about this is this ability to, as you check things off, that at the end of the day, you can uncheck things, move, you know, arrange them so that the next day when you wake up, that things are reset. So this is just for your own personal thing. You could potentially send this to yourself if you wanted a record of it or something. But for me, it's just a reminder of what I want to do and be reminded to do things. So as you can see here, one of the top questions that I have here, you know, we hear from, you know, millionaires all the time that they don't really have to-do lists, that they schedule the things that they want to do. Well, this is my way of helping you schedule things that are really important. So one of the things is, is what are the top three things that you need to get done today? This is a really important question. And see, it was checked because I actually already wrote them down. So, um, so as you can see, I created a list, the top things that need to be done today, and I scheduled them here. So as I do them, then this is the most important list of the day, and that's why it's in the upper left-hand corner. The other thing that's really important to me is reading mantras. Now, the reason for this is that I used to have my mantras written on a piece of of notebook paper and they were getting lost and stained and it was just not fun. So here, this is from Think and Grow Rich. You know, I, I, I wrote down how much money I wanna make every month, what I'm gonna give to charity, when I plan to do it by, how I plan to do it, and I read this every single day. So that way I'm reminded constantly. And I also read the self-confidence formula, which basically talks about developing love for all humanity and not being jealous or having comparison-itis with other people. Um, this is a really good thing. So if, if you don't have the book Think and Grow Rich, go get it, it costs like 99 cents on Amazon. Uh, an excellent way to start to visualize wealth. So I needed to have this in here because it was a part of my to-dos and I wanted to make it really easy for myself. So why not have it right here? Then, as you can see, you know, if you're anything like me, you probably have joined a lot of courses. And so it's really important that if you invest a lot of money in a course that you wanna remind yourself when to do it. And sometimes these courses, they have homework. And so it makes sense that you could create a list and have a way to do homework with it. So as you can see here, I'm taking Denise's Lucky Bitch Bootcamp course. I just took a quick little screenshot here because this is all for my own personal use. Like nobody's gonna see this except for me. And as you can see here, when I click on this, 
I actually added in, you can upload Excel spreadsheets to Google Docs. And then that way you can actually update the Google Docs um, through, uh, through, you can actually update them via your phone or not have to have Excel on a computer. You don't have to have, worry about having a doc in a certain place and opening it up in a program that I can actually go through and edit things that are in here um, just by clicking on the link. And I'll show you how to set that up in just a second. But it also is running into the problem of like, knowing where the links for the courses were and having logins and passwords. And you can put all that kinds of stuff in here so that you have the ability to instantly, when you know that you want to be working on this, it's in your schedule that you can just click on the link and log in and start working instead of having to go on a wild goose chase of like finding where everything is. It's all here. So the other thing that I think is really great about this is that I'm going to do NaNoWriMo this year, which is uh, the national, you know, novel writing month in November. And I've thought about it doing every single year. And the problem is, is that even though I'd have it on a goal list somewhere, I would forget about it. And then it would be like the first week of November. And I'd be like, oh yeah, I wanted to do that thing. And it's basically writing 20,000 words in the month of November with writers from all over the world. I really want to do this. So instead of just keeping it on a list and losing it and forgetting it until the middle of November, now I have it on here. And when I look through my to-dos, I'm reminded every day that this is coming up. And I got a really good reference for my friend Derek Murphy, who is a book designer, and I'm actually doing a JV webinar with him next week. Um, he actually recommended to me that I do a story grid. And so he gave me a resource. So I could just plug in the resource here. So when I'm ready to do this, check this out, I can just click on this to go to the resource. And if I come back over here, if I want to, if, if I click on the list, I've set up a Google Doc for the story grid. So when I'm ready to start writing, I can click on this and go to the link. Now, if you're wondering how do you set this up, now I obviously haven't started this yet. How do you create a Google Doc? Um, you just go to docs.google.com and you can hit file and new and it'll ask you if you want to do a document spreadsheet presentation. So I like to oscillate a lot between both of these because the spreadsheet works like Excel and you can actually open Excel files in it and you, you can then link them in your, uh, your Google Keep. So, so as you can see here, you can do this and it instantly saves things. So if I write something here like hi, and I come back over here, let's say I'd go to a new, say I go to Facebook or something like that. Even though I didn't hit save, if I click on this, go to link, it's still here. So it automatically saves things. You don't have to worry about saving docs in, in a Dropbox or on a computer or having to worry if somebody has the proper software to access your files. And then everything's kept together, which is really nice. So in addition to that, you can add this, this ability to have, uh, you know, reminders on here. So you can remind yourself to do this. Like I could do, I could give myself a reminder right before this starts in the middle of October or something. And I can change the color here by, you know, giving this a different color. There's kind of a limited color scheme, but something that I really like to do is I like to color coordinate my to-do list with things that are on my calendar. So if we come over here and look at my calendar, you can see here that greens are like the most important to do's. I have things kind of scheduled out here. Now, instead of having my to do list on my calendar, I can then look at this and go back over to um, here to figure out what needs to be done and where. So this allows me to get more detailed with my to do list without actually having to do it on the calendar, which would be a mess to look at. This is this is just so much better to look at. So. The other big benefit of having photos with your to-do list is that if I know like, hey, I want to work on my Launch Your Space program, I know to look for me in the little space thing, and now I have my to-do list here, and I can just go through and mark things off, and that's really awesome. So, um, so super helpful, very straightforward, just to give you an idea of how this works. Let's say if I was going to do the Launch Your Space thing again, just because I have an image for it. Uh, to do, I could put something like write sales copy, um, add video testimonials. Something you can see here is that because this is not a to-do list yet, 
So I'm just going to show you how it formats it. So notice here that, that the text is a lot bigger here. Well, that's because we haven't made it a to-do list. But what you could use the space for is maybe a, a quote. Like maybe you want to have a daily quote that you see the entire day. Or maybe there's like one goal for the day that you want to put in here. It's nice that when you don't turn something in a, into a to-do list, that actually creates much bigger text here. So it kind of sticks out amongst the page. So if I click on this here, the other thing is that I can make this a to-do list by uh, clicking on these three little dots right here and hit show checkboxes. So now this is a to-do list, I can hit done. And I actually forgot to add the image. So if I click on this and hit add image, um, I'm gonna just look up the term space girl cause that's how I name things, totally literally. <laughs> and I can put this here. And bada bing, bada boom, we have this. Now I could add a reminder. I could say later today, tomorrow, pick a time and pick a place. Um, I can share this with people. So if I wanna share this with my assistant, I could. If I wanna change this to a specific color that's associated with something on my Google calendars, I could do that there. And um, that I just clicked, just archived it. So see how it says archived? I wanna undo that. Um, but there is a place where you can see all of your archived materials as well. If I click over here, I can click on archive and you can see that this is where the archived materials are. I can look at my reminders, like I have reminders set up for these two things. And, uh, and so I can go back to notes. And the other thing that's really nice is you can move these things around. So it is a little bit tricky. It kind of has a mind of its own in terms of how you wanna move things. It's all according to the heights and stuff. But what I like to do is keep that morning, uh, morning review, personal to do's, uh, the top things here. And, um, and so that way I can kind of keep the things I'm going to be doing every day up here at the top. And then I can kind of associate other things by color. So like all the things, all the things relating to info products that I belong to is here, here, and here. So even though they're separated from each other, I can easily find them by color and by image. So that's how I've set up my to-dos. I hope that you're as excited as I am about this. I have a really fun little goodie thing for you. I wanted to make sure that you had a cool to-do list too. So I added in a little uh, graphic design bonus if you wanna opt in below. So you can get little headers for your to-do list. And, um, and if you like this tutorial, if you think that this was really helpful for you, I've got a lot more fun little courses on branding and design and illustration. And all you have to do is click on the link below to get access and see all the courses that I have available for free. So so um, thank you so much again, and I hope that you have a beautiful day.